Hello, my friends. Namaste, and welcome to Orgone Corner. I am the Organite Catechist. All of our how-to videos document the journey of an idea, a thought, or an intention into a beautiful manifestation that reminds us how powerful we truly are. Once you begin to work with the elemental and alchemical energies involved in Organite, your life will change in the most amazing ways. Synchronicities and serendipities will follow you everywhere. Today's journey is about Jupiter, king of the planets, the ruler of the gods, and the breaker of boundaries. Jupiter's energy is masculine, spiritual, expansive, and abundant. These energies can be used to balance and empower the solar plexus and the third eye chakras. The sound frequency I'm using in the background is 183.58 Hertz. This frequency was derived from the cosmic octave concept developed by a Swiss mathematician named Hans Cousteau. Essentially using simple math and observations of the movements of planets, Cousteau developed a way to express the energies of cosmic bodies in terms of wavelengths and frequencies. We honor the expansive archetype of Jupiter with the following organic and inorganic materials. A marble painted to resemble the planet Jupiter. Aquamarine. Turquoise. Citrine. A blue wire spiral. Pyrite. Gold plated wire, which actually changed to purple wire. Gold plated chain. White sand. Four quartz crystals and a reflective sticker of sacred geometry. I recommend you smudge your space with sage and palo santo. I will start this project by coating all four walls of the pyramid with a light yellow resin. Using the tilt technique, I will rest the mold on its side and pour a small amount of resin. After six to eight hours, the resin is cured enough to rotate the mold to the next side. This takes a while, but it is well worth the wait. The tilt technique provides a strong structure for the large planetary energies. In the apex, I will pour darker yellow resin and place citrine. This beautiful crystal will do so many things for this organite and for you. While citrine, also called the merchant stone, facilitates the flow of commerce and can therefore assist with the intention of abundance, it can also assist with joy and creativity. Associated with the solar plexus and the sun, citrine will balance the downside of Jupiter's energy, aka the overconfident, life of the party type that gets other people in trouble, but they always seem to get away with things. Jupiter gets four quartz crystals. I decided to wrap them in purple colored wire instead of gold, an aesthetic choice. Purple is associated with royalty and will acknowledge the status of Jupiter as well as provide a pop of color to the organite. The spiraling wire represents the way matter and energy move through space and time. The crystals have been cleared and charged in sunlight and moonlight, and then programmed with the 183.58 Hertz frequency. Before beginning the next layer, I will sprinkle some gold glitter, and then suspend the crystals from the four corners so they tilt inward toward the center. Once suspended, I will pour darker orange-yellow resin. Once this layer has cured enough, I will place the marble painted to look like Jupiter. I will then pour two layers of clear resin to submerge the planet Jupiter and the wire-wrapped crystals. 
Did you know that if Jupiter were only 70 times its mass, it would be large enough to become a star? Its gases consist of mostly hydrogen and helium and other trace elements, very similar to the sun's composition. Jupiter radiates too, just like our sun. Jupiter's gravity is so massive that it's enough to divert incoming cosmic bodies headed for the inner solar system. Gratitude to Jupiter. Once the crystals are secured in the curing resin, I will trim the wire. As these layers are curing, the resin compresses the wire-wrapped crystals, creating a piezoelectric effect which generates a toroidal or donut-shaped field of electromagnetic energy around the organite, tuned to the frequency of Jupiter. When you have more than one crystal, an entourage effect is induced, significantly increasing the power of the organite. Once everything is submerged, we will begin the base layers. I will start with a spiral made from blue wire. This spiral represents the great windstorms of the planet Jupiter. Because the planet rotates so fast, giant rotating storms can be observed in the upper atmosphere. The wind speeds reach upwards of 600 miles per hour. Then I will place eight pyrite stones around the spiral. Pyrite, or fool's gold, is a grounding element for the energy of Jupiter. Once again, the dark side of Jupiter is the jovial and boisterous fool. That's fun to be around, but can get you into trouble. Pyrite can settle and correct this imbalance. It can also help you come up with the million dollar idea. So if you're stuck and looking for that thing to take off, meditate with pyrite. Use the boundlessness of Jupiter to clear away preconceived notions, and you may be inspired by the big idea. The next layer will consist of white sand and light blue tinted resin. White sand is essentially smaller versions of the larger quartz crystal. Its layer will collect and focus stray energy to the intention of this organite. Once this layer is cured, I will place a reflective sticker of sacred geometry and pour light orange resin. The symbol of sacred geometry represents the path drawn by the midpoint of a line between two planetary bodies. All of the planets do this and with each other. Now I will place gold plated chain around the edge. Gold represents the abundance of Jupiter's energy. Gold is also excellent for balancing the third eye chakra and paving the way for spiritual healing and creative wisdom. To finish the base layer, I will add eight aquamarine and eight turquoise stones around the symbol of sacred geometry. Eight pyrite, eight aquamarine, and eight turquoise. 888 is the number of abundance. Aquamarine taps into the hidden truths and treasures under the sea of spiritual enlightenment, just as the structure of Jupiter under its massive clouds is a mystery. Another excellent stone for third eye chakra balancing and healing. Aquamarine cools tempers and clears thinking. Turquoise also resonates with the third eye chakra as well as the throat chakra. This is a very healing stone and creates a safe space here on earth for spiritual work. Turquoise cleanses the space and banishes negative energy. And now I will let Jupiter cure in the mold for an additional 12 to 24 hours and then we can demold the organite. Wow. Just wow. With the four crystals, you can really feel the expansive 
entourage effect of this organite. I almost get a sense of the surface versus secret as well with this energy. On top you have the majestic beauty of the king of planets and on the bottom are secret and subtle energies that make expansive and abundant energy of Jupiter so effective. Jupiter energy is the Midas touch of spiritual energy. Anything it touches or influences creates an expansive effect, tearing down preconceived notions to set us free. I wish you happiness, peace, and abundance. Namaste. Please join me for the Jupiter meditation to follow.